Welcome back to our video devotions today. We are going to jump right in. Um, our verses today are out of Romans chapter 14. And I have a little disclaimer for you. These verses are extremely convicting. <laughs> uh, they really are. And so don't be scared. We're all in this together. And conviction is a good thing. Condemnation is not. So know that that is the spirit that we're reading this with today. And, uh, Let's jump right in. Don't be scared. Here we go. Romans 14, I'm reading out of the message. Welcome with open arms, fellow believers who don't see things the way you do. And don't jump all over them every time they do or say something you don't agree with, even when it seems that they are strong on opinions but weak in the faith department. Remember, they have their own history to deal with. Treat them gently. For instance, a person who has been around for a while might well be convinced he can eat anything on the table, while another with a different background might assume he should only be a vegetarian and eat accordingly. But since both are guests at Christ's table, wouldn't it be terribly rude if they fell to criticizing what the other ate or didn't eat? God, after all, invited them both to the table. Do you have any business crossing people off the guest lists or interfering with God's welcome? If there are corrections to be made or manners to be learned, God can handle that without your help. Eesh, that one cuts deep, right? Especially in the culture we find ourselves in today. A really funny thing. So I read this verse uh, maybe last week in my um, personal like morning quiet time with Jesus. And you want to know the first thing I did? I thought immediately of other people who really need to read this verse. They just need to read this and then they would stop doing this or they would not do that and they would not speak that way and blah, 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 blah. And Paul is saying, like, he's literally telling us to not do what I just did <laughs> when I took that verse and did. I think instead of thinking of the people we think really need to change and apply this verse to their lives, I, I would invite us today to instead think of those that we are really quick to criticize the way that they're living, those who Christ has invited to his table, those we need to have more grace for, more compassion on. Uh, you know, as Paul said, they all have their own history to deal with. We don't know their stories. We don't know the kind of day they've had, the kind of year they've had, the kind of life they have had. And so instead of thinking of people who need to do what Paul is saying, I want us to do what Paul is saying and think of those that we need to have more grace and compassion for. It's really easy with a convicting uh, couple of verses like this to feel heavy or weighed down or feel like we need to change and do a bunch of things differently now. But but I wrote this little prayer, prayer out in preparing for this. Um, and it really is my desire today as I share this with you. May the burden of feeling the need to control others be lifted from your shoulders today. And together, may we trust Jesus with those we love easily and those we don't. And that really is my heart behind sharing this with, with you today. And, you know, I'm preaching to myself here as well. I am uh, quite the control freak. And it's really easy to want to get my hands into everything and and say or criticize the way that, that others are doing things, especially those who share my faith. But, but wouldn't it be amazing if that burden was lifted off of our shoulders today? And we rested in the fact that our job is not to convict. That is the Holy Spirit's job. But our job is to model our lives and our interactions with others the way or after Jesus did it, the way that he did it. And so today, may we feel lighter after having read this verse and know that we model our lives after Jesus and the way that he loved others. And we don't have to take on the world and we don't have to take on even those who share our faith who are doing things that we don't agree with let me say i know there's a time and a place to stand up for what you believe in and i'm not discouraging that but that's not the purpose of this the purpose of this is to acknowledge that it is not our job to convict other people but it is the holy spirit's job our job is to love and love well and love the way jesus did you know pastor 
Ben said on Sunday, I love this. He talked about how the world has kind of become like a, a cuss word to, to some people in the faith community. We talk really like um, down about or, or even condescending about the world. And Jesus is like, I really love the world. I really love them. And so may that be our viewpoint as well. May we love how Jesus loves, even though those that we disagree with so passionately. How can we do better and how can we live this, this verse out? Romans chapter 14 verses 1 and 2. So my prayer for today, our actual like practical application is not to or is to only apply this verse to ourselves. So when you are watching this, only apply this verse to you. Examine your heart. Ask the Holy Spirit to come and to show you areas where you can grow in this and ask him to help you release the burden of feeling the need to control others or dictate what they do or don't do. And may we feel lighter because of it. May we feel peace and rest at the end of this because of these verses. So there's my encouragement for you today. <laughs> I hope it was encouraging and not discouraging. I love you all so much and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.